Hi guys, so it seems that for Tories, dealing with problems that affect the poor and the working class is all a bit of a waste of time. So before we get to Lord Pickles, we need a bit of context. On the 14th of June 2017, a fire broke out at Grenfell Tower in North Kensington in West London. The fire started at just before 1am and it resulted in the deaths of 72 people. The cause of the fire is said to have been a fridge freezer which was not working correctly. The cladding on the outside helped spread the fire throughout most of the building. A number of failures took place that night. Poor and working class people lost their lives and the response from Tory MPs at the time was frankly insulting. So an inquiry was set up and Lord Pickles, who was attending, didn't seem to want to be there. These are things he's just trying to put together, but by all means, sir, feel free to ask me as many questions as you like. <clears throat> But could I respectfully remind you that you did promise that we would be away this morning and I have changed my schedules to, to fit this in. I do have an extremely busy day meeting uh, people, but this is more important than anything. But I would urge you to use your time wisely. Sir, can I just, I'd like to apologize uh, uh, to you and all, particularly to Mr. Uh, Mr. Malley for any way I seem discourteous. As soon as I left the room, I took the decision to cancel everything. And uh, this is more important than anything I'm doing. And I apologise, particularly to you, Mr. Miller. In fact, anyway, I seem to saw as being discourteous. I fully understand that you're doing a proper job. Well, thank you very much indeed. I I'm sorry that we're going to interfere with your no, programme for the afternoon. And um, we'll just go on then, shall we? Yeah. Right. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Yes, Mr. Miller. Thank you, Mr. Pickles. Use your time wisely. Now, this is very important because this is an inquiry in, to discover what were the factors that took place that played into a situation that resulted in the 72 deaths of, of uh, people at Grenfell Tower and also the injured as well and people who are still recovering from those injuries. Um, the fact that Lord Pickles, you know, <laughs> telling the guy to, you know, basically hurry it up, you know, I have, I have other things to do. You know, this is important. This is an inquiry to find out if rules were broken, if people had not done the right thing on that night. Did the fire brigade do the right thing? Were the, the emergency services doing the right thing? Was the council doing the right thing when it, um, when it, came to this um, this tower block. What about the cladding? What about the services that were pre being provided? Were they sufficient? What type of cuts had taken place in the years beforehand? Now, at least Lord Pickle here apologised. You know, he, he was a bit disrespectful at the beginning, but then he turned around and, and apologized. He prob somebody probably had a word with him during the lunch break and said, ah, you should actually go back in there because this is important. Maybe it's not important to conservative MPs. Maybe it's not important to the conservative party or to the government. But um, for the victims, for their families, it's important. But as I said, at least he apologized. Somebody else has something else to say. Now, this was a few years before the Grenfell fire. It says here, in 2013, Boris Johnson overruled the ruling body of the London Fire Brigade and used legal action to inflict 29 million pounds in cuts. Okay, it wasn't just, didn't invest, he used legal action to inflict 29 million pounds in cuts, closing 10 fire stations, cutting firefighters by 552, losing 14 fire engines, and cutting minimum staffing levels from five to four. By the time he steps down as London Mayor, he inflicts a further 100 million pounds in cuts to 130 million total and the loss of 7,000 firefighters. Fire prevention measures carried out by the service dropped by over 25%. When challenged by a committee on fire safety on how cutting the fire service would not increase deaths, Boris Johnson replied with, get stuffed. The fire service reacted in a way on that night to deal with the situation. Was it right? Was it wrong? I'm not here to judge that. But 
surely if their services had been cut back by the former mayor, then it meant that they were less prepared when it came to the dealing with that fire. Well, maybe you're wondering, well, did Boris Johnson really say that? Well, here we have the video. How can cutting fire stations, cutting fire engines, cutting firefighters posts not be a reduction in fire cover? Because we're improving fire cover, <laughs> as, I've said, as I've said several times. And it, by continuing to reduce deaths from fire and continuing to reduce the incidence of fire. That is the name of the game. It's you not lied. about... You lied to the people of London in your Oh, election. get stuck. It's all a joke to him. This was 2013. Like, when people saw this back in 2013, did they not say, this guy should be nowhere near the House of Commons. This guy should be nowhere near number 10. And people turned around and voted for him. He cut fire services. When he was challenged on it, he was he, his response was, get stuffed. What happened? Those fire services were not sufficient, it seems, to deal with the fire at Grenfell, and 72 people died. Has Boris Johnson apologised? For cutting those services? Of course he hasn't. Boris Johnson doesn't apologise for things like that. These are poor people who have died. Boris Johnson doesn't care about poor people. We've seen that over the last number of years. And the worst thing about all of this is that he still has his supporters. Doesn't matter what he does. Doesn't matter what he says. He will still have his core base that will come out and vote for him every time. Back Boris is what they, they post on social media. Fanatics, sycophants. Boris Johnson would throw these people under a bus and they'd still vote for him. So there you have it. Get stuffed. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.